everyone, it's Cassie, and today I'm gonna steal a few minutes from your life to tell you the story of my pet rock. Its name is Alan, and you might think it's weird that I have a pet rock and that I went as far as to name it, but this rock has had an incredibly positive impact on my life, and hopefully the story of Alan will have a positive impact on your life as well. One day when Terry and I were hanging out and it was obvious that he had a crush on me, I was going through his stuff. I like to see what kind of books a guy's reading or what kind of records he has, and I ended up going through this treasure chest and finding this clown nose. I put the clown nose on and was acting all like a clown, and when I asked Terry to put it on, he was like, no. And I was like, whoa, okay. That's weird, why won't you put it on? And I could tell by the tone of his voice that he wasn't shy or embarrassed. It was the fact that there was something more behind that nose. But I pestered him anyway just to see if he would cave, and he didn't cave. And truth be told, I've never really met a guy who wouldn't do something so seemingly minuscule for a girl that he doesn't really know and he has a crush on. So that was interesting, and he later explained to me that that nose is associated with a very strict and regimented character process, and he couldn't put that nose on without going through that process. Otherwise, it would nullify and just cheapen all of the work he did. And I've never been that loyal to an object on principle before, so that really stuck with me. And it also told me that this guy is a good guy, like he won't go against his character and all the work he's done for a girl just to impress her. I've been having really bad anxiety lately and a lot of external stressors in the winter months make it a lot worse, so Terry got me this worry stone as an attempt to help, and what it basically is is a little stone, you can fit in the palm of your hand perfectly and it's got a little groove in it so you can rub your thumb and your index finger in it when you're stressed. It's kind of a same principle as one of those stress balls, but I've been using it as a tool for self-development when it comes to my stress, just like Terry uses his clown nose as a tool for his character development. I've made a promise to myself that if I touch this rock, then I have to live in the present and I have to start being positive. And I've been uncompromisingly loyal to this rock, which is amazing, just because if you can't keep a promise, even to yourself, then you're not a person of your word. And if you're not a person of your word, then you're a shitty person. So this is just one of those things that's been keeping me in line and it's been pushing me and I think it's really really important to constantly be pushing yourself and to have a little thing whatever it is that can help you reach your goals and I've been starting to associate this with a lot of other aspects of my life that I feel like I could improve on like for example if I'm eating a ton of junk food and I know mentally that I'm done but I just want to keep eating it if I decide to touch this rock then I'm done for the day and it just feels amazing to be so loyal to something just because I base a lot of my self-worth on my loyalty to my friends to my family to to my work and to this rock and it's really good to know that I am loyal to these things that I don't compromise with these things and I really really appreciated how Terry was like that with his clown nose so that was what inspired me to do this and if you're having troubles with stress or anxiety I highly recommend trying one of these because why not I mean it's cheap it was only like ten dollars at the most and it's just a fun thing to be fidgeting with if you have trouble fidgeting and if you want to take it one step further like I did I highly recommend that as well because it's good to be just constantly pushing yourself and holding yourself to a higher standard, not for the sake of what everyone else thinks, but for the sake of your own loyalty to yourself. So I've been finding a lot of mental peace with this stone and I really like it. So maybe you think this is a great idea, maybe you think it's a crock of bullshit. Either way, I hope you guys have an amazing week, I hope you stay mentally happy and safe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!